My father once said, every man should own at least one quality suit, and if you take care of it, it will last a lifetime. In this video, I'm going to discuss my experience owning a Tom Ford suit, how I purchased it at a significantly discounted price, and best of all, how I managed to get a second suit mailed from Thailand with most of the same specifications as the Tom Ford suit, and how you can too. Alright, if you're in the market for a Tom Ford suit, you'll quickly realize that prices are pretty astronomical. This is a look at the Holt Renfrew website where the cheapest suit from Tom Ford is 4790 US dollars. And here we have their competitor, Harry Rosen, where they have some suits on sale, but uh, $3,000 is still a lot of money for a suit in my opinion. But if you're willing to put in some time and effort, you can definitely find one at a great deal. I personally negotiated for my suit and spent $1,400, and I'll tell you how to do that in four easy steps. Alright, the first step is knowing your exact suit size. So if you don't have a great fitting suit to begin with, you're going to want to go to the Bay or Macy's and bring a friend, bring a measuring tape, and measure a suit that fits you as well as possible. The one area that is more important than the other measurements, and they all, they're all important, but the one that is hardest to alter afterward but with a tailor is the shoulder point to shoulder point. So try and get that one right. Once you have your measurements, your search on eBay begins. And this is likely where I'm gonna lose some people, but you have to make a daily habit of searching. This way when a deal comes up, you are the first one to get it. So for example, I search Tom Ford's suit just once a day, every day for four weeks to get the right one for me. And a good listing will always have the measurements in the description. This is an example of a search today. It's a pretty good deal if you're a size 44 regular and you can make an offer to lower the price even more hopefully. But comparing that price to Holt Renfrew or Harry Rosen, that's definitely a steal. And the fourth and final step, take your suit to a tailor and have him or her alter it so that it fits perfectly. I was extremely happy with this result. Having the Tom Ford suit has not only given me a ton of compliments, but just knowing that it was the choice for the many James Bond suits in the movie Spectre makes me feel confident wearing it. The reality is though that myself and most of us watching this frugal inspired video are on a tight budget. So I set out to find an alternative for a second suit. I managed to have a suit made by communicating with tailors directly in Thailand and by giving them the same specifications as my suit, like the peak lapels, double vents, no belt loops, flat front pants, high quality wool, basically everything my Tom Ford has. Two months later, the Thai Ford arrives. Okay, there's plenty of custom suit makers online and in stores in North America that are gonna say they'll get you a suit for $300, but what they're really doing is they outsource to countries in Asia. They have them made inexpensively over there, they're shipped back to North America and then sold to you at a huge markup. And also those $300 suits are usually very low quality wool so what I've done is I simply cut out the middleman and I go onto eBay, I type custom made to measure suit and from there I'll find sellers from Thailand, Dubai 
and other countries. On the screen is an example of one of the companies that I decided to go with and they're not sponsoring this or paying me to say it but they start their suits at 118 US dollars and from there you can choose your uh, Fat, what kind of fabric you want. If you, There's much more if you hit the style and measurement guide. You can choose what kind of suit style you want, how many buttons, the lapel style. So basically I just chose all the aspects of my Tom Ford suit and had something similar to the Tom Ford made. A couple of notable differences between the suits. The Tom Ford suit has much higher quality hand-sewn buttonholes, whereas the Ty Ford, all the holes were done by machine and definitely don't look as nice. Also the lining on the Tom Ford suit is rayon, which I thought wouldn't be as good quality as silk because it's a manufactured fiber, but after some research I realized many high-end suits use this lining. I did end up getting silk on the Thai Ford, and after comparing, they both seem equally as comfortable to wear. The side adjusters on the Tom Ford pants. You can see they use a clasp, which I didn't really love the look of, but on the Thai Ford suit, the side adjusters are designed with a button, which not only looks neater, it also is not going to slip on you. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me out. And I'll do my best to make some more videos in the future. Bye for now.